Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be discussing about the GitHub Actions and the unit testing. We will learn how do you set up the CI CD with the unit testing of your project, especially the .NET Core application, which we'll be taking as an example. And more importantly, we'll discuss how do you publish the result of your unit test cases with the GitHub Actions. So we know that the unit testing is a very essential part or the critical part of your application development because the unit testing is something which ensures the quality of the application code which you are developing and it also makes sure that any issues which your code might have later in the program or later in the stage of the application execution you will get those issues as early as possible with the help of unit test cases and that's what the whole objective of the unit test case is. That's how we write the unit test cases actually. And now in this demonstration, I'll have a quick GitHub actions configured and show you how do you produce the result of unit, unit test cases, whether it is success or fail with those GitHub actions. Hi, my name is Rakesh Suryavanshi and you're watching Be A Learner. So for this demonstration, I have a .NET Core class library application developed in the Visual Studio. As you can see, this is a calculator class, a simplest class, which has four different methods to perform the addition, subtraction, multiplication and division operation for two numbers. And with that class, I would like to make sure that I want to, I am successfully able to test the methods which I have in this particular class. And for the testing, I have created a unit testing application, a unit testing project, as you can see here on the right side and in, in the solution explorer. I have a unit test one dot CS file where I'm initializing the calculator class. It's the sim simplest explanation. And then later I have different test methods, which is decorated with the test attribute, as you can see here. And then I'm basically writing the assert and arrange with the different tests. I can demonstrate you as it is working or not with the help of the Visual Studio Text Explorer. As you can see that all my test cases were running earlier and now if I rerun again, then it will show the same execution result, which will be succeeded in this case. So this shows that my application code is working fine as per my unit test criteria, which I have defined in my application code. Now, the question is, how do you automate this particular flow or the entire text execution? How do you make sure that when you run your CI CD pipeline, your code gets built as you do always. And after the successful compilation of the code, how do you make sure that your unit test cases are getting executed and you get the similar report what we are getting it on your local Visual Studio code in your GitHub pipeline. So for example, if you have an option to let's say if, if any of your unit test cases are breaking for example then how do you make sure that that is getting caught in your test scenarios okay so to configure that i have published this particular entire source code in my github repository so that's the github repository where i have published the entire source code both the uh, class library as well as the unit test project. Now to automate that, I have created a GitHub action workflow. It's uh, I've given a name as in .NET.YAML. You can give any name and that's how the code of my GitHub YAML page looks like. If you look at the overall configuration here, I am configuring the pipeline execution on a push onto a main branch or on a pull request onto a main branch. And then we have a job, a default job, which says that build and test. The responsibility of the build and job test job is to make sure that we have a successful build or the compilation of my .NET project, as well as the testing of my .NET project. Here I'm performing some of the environment variables, like I'm setting up a build configuration, which I would like to build it in a release mode. Next, I have the solution location where is my project location is and then currently I'm running the build configuration on the event to latest 
later on i have certain number of steps first of all i am going to check out my source code based on my main branch which will it will always take the latest source code from the main branch and then i as i know that i have my dotnet core application built on dotnet core 6.0 which is the latest version so i'll be using the dotnet 6.0 as the dotnet setup activity next the very first step which we'll be doing before the build execution is the restore the dotnet which will restore all my dependencies for the given project here if you look at i'm using the solution variable which is the variable of my project location and this particular variable is getting used in all the subsequent steps next step i have is the dotnet build and the dotnet build is basically is going to be used to build my application on the same solution and the very last application or the step i have is the dotnet test step which will not do nothing but it will run the solution with the test criteria now if i look at the actions because as we have the github workflow and we know that github workflows are getting executed with the action tab tab in your repository so if i go to the actions tab you'll see that all the histories which is being executed against that particular github action so ci is the name of my github action which is given which is displayed here now if i just open a historical view of the build then that will show what else steps which is whatever steps which has been defined which i was showing it is executed the same or not now if you look at it is setting up a dotnet with the dotnet core next is the restore and then i have a build stage which is compiling my application which has been successfully compiled next i have the test test run and if you look at the result of the test it is says it's passed successfully zero failed four number of test cases are for pass which is the four test cases which we have written for our calculator method and then it is the result it's been published but i do not have the result report generated which i would like to publish as part of my code so what should i do next now to publish the report i have to extend my pipeline with uh, another github action so this time i am using a test reporter github action created by user droni so this particular github action will help me to publish the report based on the .trx file what does it means that the .net test step which is there on the line number 36 at the moment it's not only required to run the .net test command but it requires to run the command on the build configuration with this log parameter logger parameter dash dash logger and that logger has to specify the file name on which this logger information needs to be produced so here we are saying log file name is test dash result dot trx and then that particular file name i'll be using with my test reporter action github action so if you look at the test reporter github action which is starting from line number 38 what we have done here is we have used the droni slash the test reporter which is the name of the github action and i'm using the condition it has to run always or i can do the condition as after success or after fail depends upon our requirement of the configuration and it is optional as well next i am setting up some width which is a dependent argument such as the name of the step the path from on which this particular step or the reporter step needs to generate the report so as we are generating the log file and the previous step so i'll be using the same log file it will find the log file and under the entire uh, directory and then we are using a reporter uh, tag or the reporter constant so this particular test report github actions being supported by the uh, this this particular reporter uh, github action supports multiple languages such as it supports the npm test uh, java dot net and uh, they, uh, there are some other languages as, as well on which this supports the github actions it, it, it supports the test report generation okay 
and and the last argument what we are saying is fail on error so it means that if there are any errors happens during the execution or generation of the test report then it shows the entire report as the failure now to know more about this particular github actions you can go to the github action and search this particular code name here in the google let's say i have explained the all the things which i make i'm i'm sharing it here in my blog post the link i'll be sharing here with the video so if you have any difficulties finding this uh, explanation you can go to through this particular blog here we have the entire source code and the link to the repository as well feel free to use this particular blog post as well now coming back to the topic now if i rerun the pipeline again so what it will show me is and here we have the test step which was which will show the same test result like we were getting it earlier but apart from that it says that the test file is being saved here as it is dash result dot trx and then under the report section the report is getting generated now if you look at carefully earlier we just had a build and test set, uh, test stage but now we have a dot net test as another step and if i click here on the dot net test you will see that the test report is getting generated as with the list of all the test cases which are being executed which of them are passed and which of them are going to be the failed one as you can see the name of the test cases as well and at the moment we don't have any failure scenario now if i compare this versus my visual studio code test execution which is this one it is like to like the same same execution right if you look at the comparison exactly the same thing right and this is what we want right now what about the failure case so for that what we have done uh, we have basically created a test scenario with a failed case so i have used the divide test case with the divide by zero option and that to make sure that i am able to successfully fail the test scenarios so let's see how does it looks like i am getting a failure here while generating the report now let me check that the dotnet test result as you can see same four of them pass one of them is failed and which one of them is failed is the divide failed which is the issue the error is divide by the attempt to divide by zero that's the error and we are getting the error report here as well so you can use the same this particular simplest uh, GitHub actions to configure your CI CD pipeline with GitHub to generate the report. And this is really, really easy and simple to use. There are a lot of lot more examples are given here. Thanks to Mr. Donnie, where he has did a very tremendous job here by providing this particular. I hope you have found this useful. If it is, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching it. See you in the next video.